book review today and what a book we're reviewing today we are reviewing the expanded edition this is just the regular edition combined with another book of how to break curses and release blessings all in one leather bound beautiful volume and I'm currently reading through this the last or the second half of the breaking curses and releasing blessings but I have read through the expanded edition, well I started reading through this and then I got the expanded edition because there's a study course and what the study course is is a series of questions after each chapter let's see here, here's one so you got questions for this study so there's a series of questions I just write them right in the book because it tests whether you you paid attention to the chapter or not then you got life applications after the questions it's usually at least six questions. Then you got a memory verse, and then a faith response, or your confession of faith. So then you'd say that out loud in faith. And that's cool because there's one after each chapter. That's the study course. This is the one I highly recommend. This one's just the regular book with no study course, and like I said, combined with another book, uh, Leather Bound. This was a special edition. I think it came out in 2006 or something like that. Shortly after Derek Prince died as a like a memorial to him. Uh, yeah, 2006. But anyways, I'm still reading through Blessings and Cursings, but I have read through this one all the way. And I gotta tell you, right off the bat, this book is already my third favorite book of all time. And I wasn't even through the book before it came, because it's a real eye-opener. Um, my third favorite book, my second favorite book of all time, is Herbert Armstrong's final masterpiece, Mystery of the Ages. This is my second time favorite book. And there's been plenty of reviews of this beautiful thing on this channel. But my first favorite book is the Bible itself. Not particularly this Bible, although I do like this. The, I, I, I really like the parallel Bibles, the four translations in one verse. So the Word of God's always supreme here at Brave Warrior Productions. If it ain't in the Bible, it ain't on this uh, channel. That's not good English, but it's great scriptural teaching. All right, so the Bible's number one. Mystery of the Ages is my second favorite book of all time. And this is my third favorite. And the reason I enjoy this book so much is... Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but this series I posted a while ago on my channel, Basics of Deliverance. It's a two CD series, and what was weird is the second disc was flagged, or no, maybe might have been the first disc. Well, anyways, one of the two discs were flagged for copyright, so at least they gave me seven days to take it down or before they got they struck the channel. So, but what's weird is they only copyright struck one of the CDs. But anyways. This is like a two CD series of, you know, a, a, like an advanced speed through course of demonology. Whereas the real gem on this channel is the, this, it's the six part deliverance and demonology series. Because this really goes into depth. Yeah, it's a six part series on CD. This is still on the channel. And... Look for the uh, thumbnail that looks like this. Unless you like it with the Doom logo, or Doom music, then you look for the one with the Doom logo on it. But anyways, uh, this is goes into much more detail than this ever could. This is like the, the big daddy to that. Well, Whereas the book is the big daddy to this six-part series. And makes this thing look like a little runt. Because this is an advanced college course in your face of demonology from the scripture not you know what we think or anything and it showed me not to not so much seeing demons in other people but in you because you got to get the beam out of your own eye so let's read this part what are demons how do they gain entry do christians ever need deliverance from demons 
If you are struggling with problems that s never seem to go away, has it occurred to you that demons might be at work? In this practical, comprehensive book on deliverance, author and Bible expositor Derek Prince addresses the fears and misconceptions often associated with the subject of demons. He describes nine characteristic activities of demons, seven ways demons gain access to people's lives, and nine steps leading you to deliverance. By sharing his own struggles and uns with unseen forces, he encourages believers to become equipped to take action against these evil beings. He exposes their characteristic activities and entry points and offers solid down-to-earth advice on how to receive and minister deliverance and how to remain free. This expanded edition of the classic work features a brand new study course for groups or individuals. Each chapter includes a review questions, review questions, life application questions, a memory verse, and faith response. So again, this is the version I highly recommend. Anyways, I have this, and it is in uh, a digital form. So if you'd like I, that, email me and I'll reply to you. But anyways, my review of this book is an absolute solid two thumbs up. So if you enjoyed the Derek Prince six-part series on demonology or that two-part series, definitely check this book out. And if you haven't read it in a while, read it. I would like to read through this thing again. Because, uh, like I said, third favorite book of all time right here. Right here. And I read review books only after... I read through the whole thing and take it all in and fully digest it. Then you can give a proper review. Like with the, like the, the, the Bibles, the Perry Stone Bibles. I didn't review them until I read through the whole thing. So uh, that's another book review here from Brave Warrior Productions. Again, this is the Derek Prince book, They Shall Expel Demons. So look in the link or the bo description box. There will be links. If you'd like to pick yourself up a copy.